y upon all of us, Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya. Good morning to all of participants joining from Kuwait and good afternoon to participants joining this forum from Indonesia. It is a great honor for me, Sandrina Malakiano, to host this very well attended forum. First of all, please allow me to greet uh, our honorable dignitaries, Her Excellency, Minister of Women, Empowerment and Child Protection of the Republic of Indonesia, Madam Igusti Ayu Bintang Darmawati, as mentioned earlier, uh, is currently in the eastern part of Indonesia. Hopefully she will be able to join us soon because internet connection there is pretty weak. Her Excellency, Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia, for Kuwait, Madam Lena Mariana Mukti, Excellencies, Ambassadors of the ASEAN community in Kuwait. I humbly apologize up front for any wrong pronunciations of names. Your Excellency, Ambassador of Laos to Kuwait, Si Song Tsai Ngaovongsi, and Madam Po Wang Savak Ngaovongsi. Your Excellency Ambassador of Malaysia to Kuwait, Dato M. Ali Salamat and Madam Datin Sharipah Abdurrahman. Your Excellency Ambassador of Singapore to Kuwait, Zainul Abidin Rashid. Your Excellency Ambassador of Vietnam to Kuwait, Ngo Tuan Tang and Madam Nguyen Phuong Lin. We are also very, very honored to have a number of spouses of ambassadors of the ASEAN community in Kuwait, namely from Thailand, Madam Roge Tam Mongko, from Vietnam, Madam Nguyen Phuong Lin, uh, from Brunei Darussalam, Madam Rosita Hitch Mohammed, from Cambodia, Madam Prok Mai Kanita. Uh, Aside from that, we would also like to greet representatives and staffs from embassies of all ASEAN countries in Kuwait. A warm welcome also goes to the advisors, chairpersons, directors, and administrators of W, I, I should say DWP or Dharma Wanita Persatuan of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Indonesia as well as from Indonesian embassies and representative offices uh, in the Republic of the Republic of Indonesia in other foreign countries. Honorable speakers, Deputy Chairperson of the Indonesian People's Consultative Assembly, Mrs. Lestari Murdiat, Economist and CEO of ASA Creativita, Mrs. Fifi Alatas, Executive Director of Women Research Institute and Advisory Board of W20 Indonesia 2022, Mrs. Sita Aripurnami, all journalists from local as well as international media who have joined us today, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. This webinar forum entitled Building the ASEAN Community Through Women's Perspective is held in commemoration of this year's International Women's Day by the Indonesian Embassy in Kuwait together with DWP or Dharma Wanita Persatuan of the Indonesian Embassy in Kuwait, as well as MPI or Maju Perempuan Indonesia. And now we would like to share with all of you a slide in which you will find a brief information on Maju Perempuan Indonesia. For your information, Excellencies and all participants, Her Excellency Ambassador Lena Mariana Mukti is the coordinator of Maju Perempuan Indonesia. So we'll give you an idea who are involved uh, in this uh, magnificent forum. This is a little bit about the Indonesian Progressive Women or Maju Perempuan Indonesia. Ambassador Lena Marena Wukti has been very actively doing so many things for not only women in Indonesia, not only nationally, but internationally. And she was also the one who, amongst other prominent figures, initiated this program. It 
it is quite long. Hopefully you get the chance to read it completely. And next participants would also like to share a brief information on Dharma Wanita Persatuan. Maybe we could share the uh, slide right now while I speak a little bit about DWP. Dharma Wanita Persatuan of the Indonesian Embassy in Kuwait. The explanation could be found on this slide. We are sharing with all participants of this forum right now. This organization is chaired by Mrs. Yoka Malinda. She's also present here today. Excellencies, participants, ladies and gentlemen, let us now proceed to the first item on today's agenda, namely an introductory remark from Her Excellency Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to Kuwait, Madame Lena Mariana Mukti, and she will also officiate or formally open this forum should the minister fail to join us today. Your Excellency, um, Madame Lena Mariana Mukti, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mbak Sandrina Malakiano, for hosting these uh, important forums. So um, my SEK college ambassadors, my brother um, and sisters from ASEAN community in Kuwait. So I would like, uh, I, I won't repeat the um, greetings from what Sandrina has already uh, greet all of you. And also distinguished speak speakers, participants from embassies, uh, all of Indonesian embassies uh, all over the world. So uh, good morning from Kuwait City, uh, very nice weather here. Um, and um, thank you for attending this um, very uh, important event in commemorating the International Women's Day celebrating on March 8th. And um, as um, we already uh, choose the theme that uh, we um, would like to raise the topics on the building uh, ASEAN community in uh, uh, through the women perspective. And um, ASEAN community that um, here, especially in Kuwait, is a very uh, important community. And uh, as you may know that uh, women also uh, take parts on the SEK's uh, program. So uh, as we are aware that women uh, make up slightly more than half of ASEAN, uh, ASEAN populations and significant progress has been made for women and girls in the region particularly in terms of access of education, labor force participation, improved uh, reproductive health and expanded space ex to express their voices and exercise their agency. However, signif significant obstacles remain in the way of women and girls realizing their full potential. The ASEAN community established and held ASEAN as a community of opportunities as part of its commitment to the promotion and preservation of human rights, gender equality, and the reduction of inequalities. ASEAN urges on its leaders and key sectors to investigate measures to ensure that the benefits of further economic integration are shared equally among men and women. Ignorance of women's rights, dignity, and capacities, as well as a failure to capitalize on women's potential to boost human resource production will certainly be a missed opportunity. The women of ASEAN already make a substantial contribution to the ASEAN community